In this video, we check out a cool, nifty branding app for SharePoint from nothingbutbranding.com. So there are three easy steps. Once you get to nothingbutbranding.com, choosing a theme, installation, and then experiencing the solution. So we're going to click on visit the gallery and see what the themes are out there. There's one free theme. There's a couple of different premium themes that you have to buy. So we'll check out the new theme, the free theme, exploring it. Now there's different styles that you can apply to the theme. Let me go ahead and check out these styles. All right, we'll click on the get started. In this case, we have not downloaded the app before. So the first thing we have to do is download this small NBB app. Let me download it. So this downloads onto my desktop. When I run the setup file, it runs, installs. And when it's running, after installation, it's going to be a nice WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation app, that's going to guide me as to how do I install the themes. Small download. Here we go. Okay, so here's the app. It's a little bit cut off because of the resolution that I'm using, 1024 by 768. But it's a nice, nice looking app. When you click on the Add Theme, it asks you to add a theme that you've downloaded. Now, I have not downloaded any themes yet. So what I need to do, of course, is download one first. But let me check out the one that looks like that's already built in and that's of course the default theme so at any time if you want to go back to the default theme you could do that very easily that's what this is saying alright I'll head on over back to the site to download this theme that I've identified this is a free one so I can download it I'm gonna save it onto my computer and I'm saving it into a file, into a folder called the NBP themes. So when I come back, I know where it is. When I click on N, add theme, I navigate to the C NBB theme folder. And here's my NBBX file. So I'll open it up. Here's the theme. can view it to see exactly what's going to look like all the different components for the theme and once ready you can go ahead and install it so the installation process requires that you supply it a URL of course from your SharePoint site the authentication mechanism that you're using username password everything now you have to be a site owner to do these things as long as you're a sub site owner for this site for example I can go ahead and apply the theme to it so I'll take and copy the address put it into the app authentication in this case is going to be office 365 authentication I'll apply a username and password click on connect Here we go, it found my site. Now I need to decide if I want to apply the theme to my child sites as well. And you can also apply the theme to the new child sites that get created later if I wanted it to. Then the installation process. And we're all done. Okay, so I'm going to click on done over here. Navigate back to my site and see how it looks. Here's my site again. I'm going to refresh it. And there it is. Here's my new theme. Now this is a little bit cut off here because once again my resolution is really low that I'm recording with. Otherwise it looks beautiful in a high resolution. So I did perfectly fine installing the new theme to my site. I also want to check my subsite because it was supposed to apply the theme to my subsite so I'll go to the 
NBB child site that I have. And there it is. Same exact thing here as well. So if you want to learn more, get information, get this app, head on over to nothingbutbranding.com. Have fun.